Alright, so I like this loadout. We'll apply that. So first off, we'll upgrade what stalwarts we already have. Uh, retrofit, that's going to use up 14.4, Ladian. And then we'll queue up a couple dust bishops. Um, you can rush by the dust refinery. And over here, the stalwart about to finish. Uh, do I want to retrofit the riders as well? Maybe they don't need to use Palladian. Let's have a look at what we can do with the riders. So gear-wise, 8 versus 15, I guess. I'd rather have the cheaper of the two, or we could just use the level, right, uh, level 3 gear. So 27 attack versus plus 80 attack. That's going to use at 15 adamantium though. We already have the units. They probably will fare quite well against the Wild Walkers. And we do have the option of dealing stun, which could be quite powerful. So let's grab this. It's only 8 adamantium. And then as for the gear, I guess just all the level 3 stuff. I don't want to waste too much adamantium on these guys. Extra life, extra attack, extra defense, and extra damage. Maybe I will take the boots here. Or, well, fine, extra attack and extra life, that sounds useful. And then we'll just add uh, the default armor. Cancel this out. We definitely want to grab Sharp Sense, but I don't think we'll need to give them the extra movement. We'll keep the, the price reasonable. Alright, it's winter now, let's reactivate the wine booster here, and we can complete the next step in our uh, main fashion quest by pumping science and industry up to level 3, building buyout reduction, I think we're done with buying buildings for now, uh, but we'll keep the high gold. Are we going to push military this round? Plus 30% attack. Reduced military upkeep. Is that going to be worthwhile? Trading all of our influence right now. Let's just take the attack bonus. Okay, next step in our faction quest complete. We've got 20 Palladian, which could be useful. We could equip that on one of our units. Our next objective is to capture the city of Rondaria. Rondaria, is that nearby? Um, well, we'll have to do some exploration. There are three civs left. We haven't met the roving clan faction yet. Alright, let's start. We'll buy out our army. These guys all need to be retrofitted. And over here, retrofit these guys. And in order to um, collect our army, we're going to have to declare war on the Wild Walkers since their borders are closed to us. So, what? Uh, my army size is now 6. I'm going to want um, at least two stalwarts, preferably three, um, three dust bishops in the back, and then probably a separate group of riders. 
That seems reasonable. What about heroes? Do I have a good hero I could buy either as a governor or as someone to lead an army? Uh, chosen here. Influence boost, army health boost, infantry, uh, army health boost, and influence boost. Uh, would any of these guys be good as a governor? Army defense boost, if infantry efficiency boost. Army defense boost too. He does seem like he'd be a reasonable um, leader for our army. I might want a ranged hero though. A flying slayer. If we had a ranged slayer hero, that might be really nice. No such luck. This guy gives army damage boost. I don't know, none of these heroes are really calling out to me, but I feel like we should get one. We do have the dust to spare on that. Okay, we've got two stalwarts. Um, let's work on another stalwart and a dust bishop over here. Uh, dust bishop. We'll put that in front of the borough streets, perhaps. Finish those two out, start work on the Dust Bishop. And we'll want to attack this small group here. So right now, we've got three units, and we'll assign a hero to them. Uh, our hero will want to upgrade his gear. So this guy here, would I rather be Palladian or the Adamantium? E3 attack, 8 defense, plus 40 damage. So the Palladian gets my hero a little more initiative. Um, I suppose that'll be fine. The other option is the Spear, which gets me Cavalry Slayer versus Infantry Slayer. Let's take Infantry Slayer because um, they do have those huge Teneri walkers. Um, so we'll take that, and as for gear here, I think I have enough initiative. But I don't want to use up all the Palladium or uh, all of the adamantium. Let's see. Initiative boost versus damage boost. Small initiative boost versus uh, at the expense of some defense points. Uh, let's take more health and then we'll just wear the uh, normal gear here. Although, well, that does give me a 12% boost to my defense versus 10. Not that much of a gain. Uh, but I'm not really using the Palladian for anything else. Alright, we'll use... Oh, that's too expensive now. It's still too expensive. Okay, so we are going to dial back on the armor too. Let's, uh, we don't need to show obsolete. Let's clear all of this stuff out and give him... Uh, is there anything... Can we equip by heroes only? Ah, we can finally equip that item that we got a while back. So regeneration does what exactly? It recovers 6 life per level after the round. Alright, so that should work for us. That could save us a bunch of dust. Don't know if it's worth the slot or the palladian. However, I think I'd rather have the claymore. So we can't actually equip that. Army attack boost sounds super useful. Can I afford that? No, I don't have enough palladium. Hopefully I can get some more elsewhere. 
Um, initiative boost, damage boost, defense boost. Let's grab the defense boost. Uh, the improved movement is definitely needed. Uh, right here, sharp sense. Improved movement and sharp sense tier 3. And I guess we'll leave him with the quivering circlet. Uh, or we could give him the high ground boost if he is going to be doing a lot of fighting. Fine. We want to apply all of that. And then we'll attach him to an army once we're ready. Um, I guess there's no reason in holding off. Let's rush by all of these guys out. Dust Bishop and maybe another Bishop and a Stalwart. How many Bishops do we want? We've got two over here. Two total. Three total would be good. So three Stalwarts and three Dust Bishops. Um, we'll build all the Dust Bishops out of the capital. Oh, we don't have enough uh, dust to rush by that. So this will be our starting army then. Uh, we'll just have that guy queued up. And we'll also go and queue up another stalwart. Yeah, sounds good to me. And we'll go and assign more dust from the terrain by that. And as for our army, select all. New army. Over here. New army. And we'll go and drop our hero in on the larger group. Assign hero, the Baron, and what city should I attack first? Uh, the one to the south, most definitely. So let's go move directly to the borders, and how much influence is it going to cost for us to declare war? I'm afraid. The declaration of war costs 55 influence. We have enough influence for that, so next turn we'll go and declare war. We'll join these two armies up. This force should be enough. Well, he's got six versus eight units, uh, plus a whole bunch of guys garrisoned inside the city. Hmm. This might be tricky. He's condensed these guys into one army. It's winter. We don't have a lot of movement. Right, let's rush by the Dust Bishop. And the Stalwart. And that'll be next turn. Summer again. Well, over in the capital. Uh, plus five on the city. I guess we may as well build out glory to the empire. Uh, or do we? No, we want to go full military and we'll gain all of our buildings through conquest. In which case, push out a stalwart here. And it's time for war. So, new army. We'll have this guy join up. Here and next turn when we have all of our movement, we'll go and attack. Okay, we'll go declare war. And have these guys join up. I want to 
swap these riders off and they can be uh, the reinforcement since they've got a lot of movement and that'll let us position the dust bishops and stalwarts in a sensible formation. So we've got three stalwarts, three dust, dust bishops. The stalwarts will form a nice line to protect the dust bishops. We're pumping out a couple more stalwarts. Um, do I want to pay to rush by this guy and then uh, I'll only have enough palladium uh, for either one more stalwart, exactly one stalwart. Hmm. Alright, let's cancel one of these stalwarts. Um, we've put less work into this guy. Industry and dust will not be refunded. So let's build out a dust bishop instead. And that takes care of all of the adamantium we got from that one heroic deed. We're not going to be able to build out any more of these guys. And I guess while we're here, we should start sieging this city down. Search that. Study the runes shows you a condition uh, of war to the fall of the great empires. The objective is sign a truce with another empire within 10 turns. That gets us the advanced harvester for free. Um, all right, we can try to take the city and then see if they'll take a truce with us. And meanwhile, we don't have any armies at home to protect these guys, but they should be close enough to have a look around. Okay, so uh, am I close enough to uh, garrison or siege the city? Let's siege here. Looks like he's coming out to break the siege. We'll attack these guys first, which isn't exactly what I want. That's actually not what I want. So end turn, we'll try to run away before we're attacked. And then we'll have this guy siege up. Siege, and we'll just have these guys around and scouting. Alright, so this is the capital. And he hasn't built out very many districts as far as I can tell. Uh, and he doesn't have any special buildings there either, so taking Hadro would be really good for us. And should we rush by that Dust Bishop? Yes, we should. And we can rush by our Stalwart as well, bring them into the fight. And what should we queue up next? Um, I suppose another Burrow Street would be good for us. That would be a nice boost to our science. Hold over in that direction. And we'll go and add glory to the empire, or we can build out some units that don't require strategic resources. Let's build out glory to the empire for now, and we can rush by uh, other less strategic resource dependent units if we need to. Alright, so we've completed the Dust Guardian here. We're going to need some titanium if we want to build one of these guys. And I would like to try to build one of these guys. So, uh, on the marketplace, strategic... Okay, I need a tech for that. Um, Imperial coinage. Let's go and research that next. And then we'll buy some titanium off the market there. Meanwhile, new army. The Dust Bishop will run over to here. And we'll run in and meet up with these guys here. May as well condense ourselves 
into a full army there. Alright, so that's quite the force. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Tony warriors and three Dakari rangers. And then plus the city here. We are slowly breaking down their fortification points. The fight is close enough that we'll get some backup from our militia, which will be nice. Alright, so supposedly this combat is in our favor. Let's see what actually happens. They don't have a hero, which is definitely nice. So let's ready this fight. We'll do hold position as the default behavior, because we want to set up a nice line uh, of stalwarts to defend our uh, dust bishops. We don't want to block off the reinforcement flags, so let's put the dust bishops over here. I do want to stand in the forests. Uh, we'll have a few guys spawn in from here, uh, but for now that seems reasonable. Okay, the Dust Bishop spawned there, which is good. Uh, we'll have... Where does this guy fall in the turn order? We'll have him move away from that slot. Uh, this Dust Bishop pull further back and everyone else just hold position. Oh, I should have moved this guy to higher ground. I think I forgot he was there. And actually, with all of these walkers in the way, maybe we should have pushed forward to deal damage to the uh, Dakari Rangers. Alright, so I guess we'll have to abandon protecting um, all of our dust bishops here. At least we're getting some nice heals off. There's our Stalwart. Uh, let's go and attack. We do have Infantry Slayer, and these guys are infantry. Um, so let's let's switch into aggro mode. This might be a mistake. And we'll have this guy run around to see if he can attack this guy. So long as my Dust Bishops don't charge ahead of the Stalwarts. Alright, so Sharp Sense is doing the work here, uh, even though we're taking a lot of uh, range attacks from those rangers. We haven't lost any units yet, although this guy is about to bite it. Alright, so we formed a nice protective barrier around these guys. Um, so we'll have them all switch back to hold position, and we'll just Hope that the healing is enough to offset all of the range attacks, and yeah, so these guys go back to hold position, especially since they've all advanced to our lines already. We'll have this guy move forward and be on hold position. Hold position, and these guys, this guy here, uh, do I want him to fall back for some healing? Yes, let's do that. So good defense values on our units, preventing us from taking too much damage. And then hopefully we'll be able to heal all that back with the Dust Bishop abilities. Uh, 
We do need to pull back to expose the reinforcement slot. We lost one of our cavalry units. Dealing good damage, staying in formation, keeping morale high. Healing up some of our hit points here. While still dealing damage. Alright, good. So, I'm liking this setup. Um, if possible, this guy should move back. But I, I think he'll be attacked first and be stuck in place. Alright, a nice retaliatory attack there. Here or there, took down that walker. Oh no, and he's... The walker's getting in to deal damage directly to the dust bishops. Fortunately, the dust bishops uh, do have a fair amount of defense against these units, it seems. There's that walker taken care of. And health points regenerated. Excellent. Okay, so our riders aren't really having a good time of it, but we haven't lost any dust bishops um, yet, anyways, and they are nicely healing all their adjacent comrades. So this really is uh, the ideal situation for this army. phase of the game, we took down almost all of their walkers and took down a few rangers as well. Maybe just one ranger. Uh, nope, two, three rangers. Yeah, that was that was a really good engagement for us. We lost one stalwart and one rider. This guy gained a bunch of experience. Let's go and give him um, an extra reinforcement position. Our two extra reinforcement positions would be good. Uh, but since we lost a bunch of units there, I don't know if we need them. Uh, let's grab some more defense. That ended up being really useful. Extra life or extra defense. Let's give these guys some more extra defense. And we'll condense our armies. Swing around to here. Uh, move, well, we'll want to heal that rider. Heal the hero. And then move this Dust Bishop into that group. Alright, that seems fine. We'll keep on uh, breaking down the fortification points. And is, we'll have to switch over to building out some basic units. So let's, uh, we're going to need one replacement stalwart. Let's um, make a new stalwart, uh, the basic kind. Select, we'll name him uh, No Strat. And he'll gear up with just the level 3 stuff. So, level 3 weapons with the shield. There we go. And level 3 armor. Sharp sense. And movement. Go and validate that. And we'll have uh, the capital rush by a no strat or two. Or 
or three, as the case may be. Uh, some more experience gained. Inspect this guy. Let's go and head over towards the percentage dust boosters. Another Civ has built the Alchemic Institute. I wonder where that got built. And someone's entered the next tech era. We've got Hero of Heroes, which is be the first to complete 25 quests in order to gain the reward. The reward is an item. Plus 168 health, plus 52 defense. Uh, beloved of the people. Be the first to have a city with 15 districts. Uh, minus 50% expansion disapproval, that's pretty big. And a legendary building. Inspiring Commander, i.e. the Eye of Sauron. Uh, it's a legendary building. Plus 100 dust, minus 50% dust for military upkeep. Cost 5,000 production, 45 of the high tier strategic resources. Mm. Alright, so we've got another attack here. Unfortunately, I didn't bring all of the um, stalwarts that I purchased over in the capital and in time. So we're going to be facing down um, four Tenai walkers and four Dakari rangers first. And then they'll have a whole bunch of reinforcements after that. Um, it's the same battle area, so hopefully we can set up uh, that really nice defensive area with our dust bishops again. Dust bishops here look like they need to pull over like this. And uh, we do need to be on hold position. Alright, that's not perfect. Maybe over like that. All of these guys need to be on hold position. Meanwhile, this guy can run up and attack. Uh, or even, if we can get over there, that would be best. These riders really are not holding up very well against this army. There's that guy dead. Hopefully we'll get a good reinforcement of the deal. I think we have one stalwart and one rider. So there's just the rider left to be reinforced. Alright, in good formation to deal damage here. What we have here is another rider. Uh, if we could get him to retreat for now, that would probably be for the best, since he's just going to take a lot of fire from these walkers. Ooh, lots of nice damage from our hero. Getting back some of the hit points, but not nearly fast enough. We need more uh, dust bishops adjacent to our hero. Uh, he might go down this turn. Um, so what we're going to do then is start advancing with our units. Uh, it does mean attacking from the low ground, so that's actually a bad idea. All right, we'll just try to hold our ranks. Hope we survive. 
here. We have better odds if we attack first. So who would I rather attack? Um, ideal 114 or 171 damage. Uh, can I kill any of these guys in one shot? No. So we'll just go and attack this guy, the weakest. Uh, and there goes our hero. Which means the walkers are free to walk right up toward dust bishops, which could be quite painful. Alright, our dust bishops are doing good work. And if possible, do I want to swing over to here? No, we'll, we'll keep this current formation, and this dust bishop uh, will be healed up by the three adjacent to him. So if he ends up taking damage, that should be okay. We'll go keep on holding position here. Starting to knock down the rangers, and it looks like we might be able to heal up the front line every turn. Yeah, almost back to full strength on uh, this guy, and we'll probably want to... Well, how many turns are left? I think this is the final combat round. Uh, so should we try to rush forward and deal damage? Flip this guy over to aggro. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, that's really good. Sharp Sense doing its work. Uh, most of those ranger attacks did nothing to us. Uh, there we had the high ground advantage. Run forward. Put some damage here. 66 damage there. Nearly killed that ranger. Softened him up so the dust bishops could finish him off. And this guy will probably want to fall back if possible. We might lose another stalwart here, but hopefully we'll be able to bring in reinforcements from the capital in time for next turn. Alright, a good defense there. Some more nice healing. And this is the last phase. Alright, so we survived that. We lost two riders and our hero went down, but we dealt a lot more damage to the Wild Walker army. So that went uh, as well as it could have. This army is still too large. Uh, well, we'll definitely want to heal up the hero. Heal all of these guys. And then we'll have I suppose we'll have the stalwarts go and meet up with these guys. Um, another no strategic resource required stalwart here. Let's buy another three. Uh, but these guys will form a new army and we'll go out and join up with this group here. 
And I suppose a couple more 